another episode of The Sea Shop, where entertainment, business, and giving back meet to bring you the latest in celebrity news and info you won't hear anywhere else. Our celebrity guest is beautiful and talented, and she's become a household name. You may know her from the hit TV show, The Real Housewives of New Jersey. But today we're going to talk about some things that you may not know about her. So join me in welcoming Melissa Gorga. Hi, Melissa. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, I know that you're here with your family, right? Yes, yes. yes. I have my sister here with me today. How yeah, nice. And up. you also brought your Facebook fans, your Twitter followers. Yes, I did. Why don't you give a shout I out? I did. Hello, Facebook and Twitter followers. How are you guys? I love you so much. Thank you so much <laughs> for all your support. Now, you just recently cut your fourth single? I did, yes. Let's talk um, about that. My fourth single is out on iTunes now. It's called I Just Wanna, mm -hmm. and it's a high energy dance track that I am so proud of and so excited about. Mm -hmm. um, I collaborated with another artist, Santino Noir, mm -hmm. on it, who is a longtime family friend that's been on the stage for you know, since he's 14 years old, and he mm -hmm. is really amazing. And I wanted to give him the same platform that I had. I just feel like he has such talent. And mm -hmm. we wrote this amazing song together that's just about letting it letting it all go, not mm -hmm. worrying about what anyone thinks about you, just getting out there dancing and feeling good. And it's high energy. Um, the video is out now. It's my mm -hmm. first ever music video. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's big for me, and it's everything yeah. I ever dreamed it would be. So mm -hmm. I'm very excited. So now, how did you stumble upon being on The Real Housewives? How does one do that? How does one do that? <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, there you go with Facebook. I got a message on Facebook oh. um, from one of the producers mm -hmm. saying they wanted to speak with me and they they contacted me and I, wow. you know, I shared my number with her and she called me up mm -hmm. and she just, you know, it went from there. That's great. Yeah. Wow. That's, you're that tiny 1% where you actually get discovered without even Yeah, yeah. Out. I have never um, pursued them, nothing wow. of the sort. I mean, it, I do have family that is on mm -hmm. the show, so I think mm -hmm. they have figured out we have family nearby and it yeah. is a family show yes. so it, it worked. Yeah I yeah. love that about the show that you can be with your family and it's so real and authentic it's and very not real. staged. Yes it's very authentic and I think that's why the viewers are so intense about the show and mm -hmm. why the fans are so connected to the show because mm -hmm. you know it goes on in everyone's homes and it's so relatable so mm -hmm. I really think that um, it's just, you know, it's mm -hmm. there and everyone really loves it. So it's doing really well. Well, we feel like we know you because we see you on TV. Is there something maybe we don't know about you? Some little fun facts? Oh, what's a fun fact <laughs> for me? Um, like a certain kind of food you like to eat? Oh, gosh. You know, fruit roll-ups. Really? Yes. That since I funny. was a little girl, I still buy the large box of fruit roll-ups at oh, Costco. Wow. And I will, you know, fight with my children over who's going to eat it. Because, <laughs> yes, I am a fruit roll-up fanatic. I love them. Um, what else? I don't know. There's probably so many fun facts. I can't eat cereal unless really? it's only, it has to sit for just a second. If it gets even a little soggy, I can't eat it. Really? Yeah, so there's a fun fact. That <laughs> is. That's so interesting. <laughs> wow. So have you ever thought about making your own fruit roll-ups at home? Because um, you know you, know, you can. That's, that's pretty, you know, no, I haven't, but <laughs> there you go. That's an idea. Now, I know that you brought some friends with you on the show. Um, we actually have Jeff and Sean from the Amazing Jellyfish. Wow. Do you want to invite them out here? Right, Jeff and Sean, come on out. Come on out. Hi, Hi there, guys. How are you? This is such a Hi. cool item. How are you? I'm excited Amazing. to hear about it. Hi, how are Whoa. you? Good. So it's not every day that you see a jellyfish in this manner. How did this come about? We actually got the idea out of Hawaii. You know, mm -hmm. we brought it to the mainland here. It's a, it's a very unique product. It's mm -hmm. a great conversation piece. It yeah. It actually glows in the dark. It has a natural phosphorus in their bodies that make them glow. Really? We have replicas of exact jellyfish that you would find in any ocean in the world. I mean, they're, they're just beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. It is. Now, it's what, beautiful. what makes them glow? It's a natural phosphorus. It's called bioluminescence. It's a oh. protein that's preserved in there that make the jellyfish glow. It's mm -hmm. really, really unique. Pretty amazing. So how does it get to this point where it is perfectly 
in the glass. I mean, it just looks like you'd see it in the ocean. How do you get that in there? Right. <laughs> That's a complicated process right there. I don't yeah. have enough time to get into all that. <laughs> it would take about 30 minutes, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique process. We have designers that, that help us with this, but uh, we've been designing these ourselves, and it's, it's a really unique, like I said, it's a great product, and mm -hmm. it glows in the dark. It's, mm -hmm. it's really something You know, to it's see. come a long way from, you know when you plug in the lava lamp, and you oh, kind of yeah. watch that? It's kind of reminding me of that, only this yeah. is much more beautiful and authentic. Yeah. It's kind of a little bit mm -hmm. more personable, but that's what it reminds yeah. me of, right? When you when you sit in the dark and you want to watch something, or even when you're looking at a fish tank and mm -hmm. you want to see something in the dark, and yeah. that's what that is right there. It's so pretty, like in a, in a darkened room, and now you wake up, go to the bathroom, it is glowing. I mean, it will it, it never stops glowing. It'll teeter out some point early in the morning, but it always recharges. It's charged by natural light or uh, sunlight. Wow, mm -hmm. and that pretty never amazing. goes away. Pretty amazing. So. Um, this is handmade, so this is not a manufactured type of no. product. So, how does that happen? I know it's a complicated process, but I just my brain can't wrap itself <laughs> around how it gets to that place. And look at the—do you call those tentacles? They look so delicate. They are. It's, it's used as a liquid nitrogen to get them get them stiff like that, and then mm -hmm. they're injected with color to get the color back. Mm -hmm. okay. Wow. And it probably creates such beautiful color. It does. My children would go crazy for something like this. I think they would be completely fascinated and just stare at it the whole time. I think it's so great. And I keep thinking about my shore house. I have a house down at the Jersey Shore. I want to put these in every corner. We actually do shows uh, like up in Ocean City, New Jersey, Cape May, do and uh, Seaside Heights that, as well. We that's do them exactly on the what, I, what I'm and seeing. And people eat them up. They yeah. are great. Yeah. And even little jellyfish necklaces, necklaces. that go Oh, that's amazing. Well. Yeah, that's where my house is, right down there. Is it really? Yes. And so I just picture having these all over. Mm -hmm. there, it's just a wonderful concept. Now is this the color, I'm trying to think, I don't know that I've ever encountered a jellyfish. Is this the color, I'm noticing you're wearing different colors, so is, I know they're, they're probably not the red and the blue, is it more this color? Do you add the color to it? These are, uh, like I said, they're exact replicas of what the jellyfish, would, what they look like in their natural state, so we have mm -hmm. to get the color just perfect. Um, mm -hmm. These are deep sea dwelling jellyfish, which means you're not going to typically oh. see these wash up on the shore. Okay. Gotcha. They're little clear ones that everybody sees. I was going to say yeah. those clear ones yeah. that come right, right. like blubber don't look this pretty. No, no. These are, uh, you wouldn't see these unless you were a scuba diver or saw them in an aquarium exhibit or mm -hmm. something. These are really, they're not rare in the ocean, they're rare to see wash up on the shore. Right. Gotcha. Deep sea, and that's why they glow. They yeah, have because I was going to say, these are not, I, ha I have a bay in my back and these are not the pretty not jellyfish no. <laughs> that my kids are pulling out of the bay. They don't look anything like this. Yeah, there's so, over a thousand different species of jellyfish. Really? And this is just Who one knew? of the species that wow, we Wow, I had no idea. So are these a particular kind of jellyfish that you pull out? Or you pull out a variety? Oh, there's, there's several different. This one right here, this is called a black medusa. You would find that in Baja, Ooh. California, or Mexico. Okay. It's, uh, it comes ashore about once every six to seven years. It's very rare. It's a, it's wow. a carnivore, actually eats other fish, shrimp, crustaceans. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that crazy? And then we have like an Australian red devil medusa. Mm -hmm. We have, that's the red one. We have a blue one that comes from the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Jamaica, mm -hmm. Cayman Islands. Uh, we have a, a green or yellow, they're called Japanese sea nettles, and they're from the Pacific Ocean. So we got a little bit of everything from every ocean, every region to mm -hmm. kind of. Fascinating, yeah. I love it. That is really cool. So now you have this that you can put on your table. Also, I'm noticing the necklaces. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other type of items that people can purchase? We are uh, currently, we got the jellyfish now, but we're working on an octopus and a little wow. crab. Really? Wow. Yeah, like so. a, a baby octopus? The little baby octopus is going to be, be a necklace a too. Pendant also. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah. Now, it, these necklaces, are they for male and female? Yes. Everybody. Oh. Kids eat them up. On, when I was in Ocean City on the shore, people were just eating them up just as fast as I could put them out. Oh, I can see my son running around with a jellyfish and around his neck. And they glow, though. So, I mean, yeah. And they glow. Yeah, no, that's, that's a home run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, do they glow? Is it based on what's already in them, or does a does the light have to be on them for a while? How does it that work? It has to absorb the light. The more okay. light it gets, the longer and brighter it glows in the dark. So. Gotcha, mm -hmm. so you should lay it in the sunlight when you're not. Or lamp, artificial light. or natural light. Gotcha. So. so everyone can find these at your website, which is? TheAmazingJellyfish.com. Oh, that sounds and good. And we got a special promo code, Housewife, to get a special Yay. discount. So I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, thank 15 you. 15%, right. Yeah. Thank you so thank much you. for joining mm -hmm. and uh, explaining this. This is such an amazing process. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of love. I love those necklaces. <laughs> well, how about that? So this is something 
we wouldn't otherwise ever see because no, it's that so is fascinating. And all I can think of is are my three children who yeah. would just be so fascinated by that. I yeah. really love it, and especially for um, my house down at the Jersey Shore. I just mm -hmm. feel like that would just make so much sense. I like Perfect. it a lot. Yeah, yeah, and especially for those who love the ocean and will never be able to see something like that. That's right. really it cool. Right, it is. It's pretty fascinating. Yeah, and and it's wild to know that that was that's real. It is. That's you, a real jellyfish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know. I've never seen one so pretty. I always get those like clear looking right. blobs. That but you want to stay away from. Yes, yes. <laughs> Very nice.